Hey guys, Thunder E here at CS 2020. Samsung just showed some insane TVs and gaming monitors. So let's start off with the very first thing I saw and I truly love, can't wait to have in the house. I'm talking about the Samsung Q950 8K bezel-less TV. Yes, truly bezel-less. Not to talk of like some bezel here or there. This thing just looks slick sexy it is so nice now this is an 8k tv and as of course we saw 8k tv last year some improvements in this tv are truly amazing there's a whole list of improvements here that makes this tv worthwhile but display just looks absolutely awesome now this tv also has a lot of really good sound you've got speakers built here in subwoofers all around the sides and samsung has said look they're dedicated to improving sound this year with things like object sound plus which allows you to of course uh get better uh, audio tracking when listening to conversations while watching uh, video content. Now, there's so much more with this TV as well. There's AI upscaling because, of course, we know there's no 8K content there through traditional media uh, spots. So they're working with people like uh, YouTube to get 8K content on YouTube as well, as also with Amazon to upscale standard definition content as well as uh, 4K content to 8K. And things look absolutely beautiful on this TV. I am truly, truly impressed. Now, the few other features that I gotta talk about that's really good on the TV itself, like adaptive viewing, AI skill net, object tracking sound plus, which I just talked about, Q Symphony, multi view, tap to view, allowing you to just tap your smartphone and connecting directly to the TV. Uh, and we also have Alexa and Google Assistant integration, plus, Samsung showcased a digital butler that will be part of this TV. Now, Gamers like, like me uh, also will have 4K 120 hertz on this TV. We've got FreeSync support as well. Uh, response time is super low. This TV just looks great. I am truly impressed with what I've seen here. Now, they also announced some other TV sets like the wall, which now has a 75 inch variant. Hopefully I can get that in my apartment. That would be pretty cool. But we know how the wall is. It's just, it's probably uh, a tech that's too expensive yet. No pricing for that. But one that's really cool is the Cero. The Cero is a TV that can switch between portrait to landscape mode while viewing content off your device. So it's meant for, of course, the millennial generation. People who watch a lot of mobile content. You start watching, of course, in landscape. As you rotate your phone, it switches over to, of course, uh, so, uh, portrait to landscape, whichever way you want to. It's pretty cool. You can also play with filters, so much other cool stuff on this TV that makes it quite interesting. Then you have, of course, the frame, now at a 32 inch and a 75 inch as well. So you can have really cool images in your home, but also have a TV that, of course, gives you some awesome photos. And as you guys know, I'm a gamer. We gotta talk about that Odyssey G9 gaming monitor. That thing is a behemoth. 49 inches, right? You've got a, a thousand hour radius, viewing radius. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. Resolution 5129 by 1440. It's 240 hertz on there. One millisecond response time. You also have support for AMD FreeSync 2 and NVIDIA G-Sync. I mean, you can't get any better than this, plus a thousand nits. So I can't wait to check this out uh, at home and also check out, of course, the Samsung Q950. And I want to give a big shout out to our sponsors of this video, b Photo, where you can pick up the Samsung Q950 and the Odyssey G9 monitor when it becomes available or other 8K TVs if you want to. So thank you very much, guys, for checking this out. If you have any questions or any comments, let us know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.